It's me, Nim Sony. Welcome back to another video. Today we are back in 360 Chicken. I know it has been quite a while since I've been um, making videos, but uh, things going on in life and uh, that's how life is. Um, to get back into the flow of things, I haven't gone straight into VR yet. Um, for those of you who uh, haven't watched my last video, which was very recent, last week or so, um, have a quick glance at that, it's only a minute long. It is just an announcement regarding the cat, the pet cat of ours, who is, uh, who Tubby Super Cat, my character, is based on. Unfortunately, he passed away very recently and uh, that's why I made a little tribute video for him. Uh, so you can have a glance at that if you want to as well. Now, back into this game, 360 Chicken, I've overhauled pretty much the entire menu. It still looks similar, but it uh, it looks a lot better now. And um, finally, you know, upgraded the actual menu and upgraded the chicken editor as well. You can actually see there's some, some more modifications on here. It's all inside the main menu now, rather than having a separate weird menu. You can actually not just modify the chicken anymore, you can modify the board as well. So, here we go, you can actually uh, take, let, let's get him a very, very bright coloured chicken, for example, here. In fact, let, let's go with a nice grey, slightly blue-tinged grey. There we go. Nice. And then we can have the, the head of the chicken. Oh, I always click the beak button for some reason. Whatever colour, there we go. I'll go with a nice minty colour, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. As you can see, you can modify the chicken itself. And now the edge of the board here, you can actually change the color of that. As you can see here, pink, blue, whatever. You can go completely dark, you can go completely bright. So we could go, for example, completely white. But I'll go with the typical Nimsoni orange. And then you can cha change the wheels, of course. There we go. Now, the, um, the spindle here does keep rotating automatically, but you can use the mouse to actually grab it and, and turn around and, and have a look. Uh, but whatever wheels. Now, you can actually change the board as well. So here we go. I've got a preset set of boards. Uh, very simple ones. You can go through this red, white, grey. And I've got this sort of sunburst colour. And then the uh, another burst colour, but with a purpley pink. And then a typical Nimsoni icon. It's just a bunch of preset boards. This is all very simple, simple stuff. Um, the play menu has been upgraded as well. It's no longer just two buttons that are play that make no sense. Uh, it's actually got a, a movement system here that isn't being used yet. Let's pop into the game and have a look at some changes. Immediately you'll see a change on the bottom right corner of the screen. But of course all the audio is in as well. This is a version that's going straight up on itch.io and you'll be able to play this version here. So have a look at the uh, speedometer at the bottom right there. It is in miles per hour and I've scaled them to a sort of appropriate size relative to the chicken because in terms of actual meter units, the chicken is over a meter in size, which is inaccurate to a real chicken. So I had to scale the, the speed a little bit to show what it seems about right. But yeah, so you can actually see some cool um, movement going on on the speedometer as well. So you can see here, it actually shakes as you go very fast. As you slow down, it cools down as well. Really cool. Uh, now the other thing I've been working on, firstly of course you can see the physics have improved as, uh, as per before, as I mentioned. And uh, there you go. Uh, but there is something else that I was working on which is just messing around with the shading of the level. Now. What I've done is implemented a custom shader that actually has, it's, it's sort of a global shader that modifies the look of the scene itself. All of the static objects, so all of the level structure actually can modify its shader. Um, and I can do that by pressing the T key. And you can see that in the menu here, it just shows the controls because I haven't upgraded the control system yet. And you can see I can actually switch between different uh, weathers and environment modes. Right, so there we go, you can switch to rain and you can see it actually reflects on the floor more. So the actual floor becomes shinier and then you can switch to snowy mode as well. And you can see a particle system loads up and the floor becomes more snowy. And that is actually a custom shader which allows me to modify 
the shine of the floor and, and overlay this sort of uh, colour on top. Now that obviously is just plain white and what I did is I left in my debug which was um, for me to test the shader so you can press Y and you can see what happens when it's at 100%. So there we go, you've got just a completely textureless scene. And if you press T you'll get back to clear weather. So there you go. I kind of like this sort of um, sunsetty look um, to it. It's it's nice. It affects the lighting. It affects obviously the the shine on the floor and everything, and the sky itself modifies as well. Uh, so there we go. You can play the game at night here, and you've got this torch light on the front of the chicken board. But if you go in reverse, you'll see that you can't actually see because the torch light is behind you now. So you're just sort of zooming through on a completely completely dark scene it's, it's quite hard to get through you can see that the mines and these boost the boosters actually have glowing color on them as well now there is another addition here which is of course the sound and uh, even though I, I actually made a video on this already so I'm not gonna go through it very clearly but you can hear that all, all of this all is, is is actually audio now so you can actually hear and inside the tunnels it sounds really cool there you go but let's get the music back on and switch over to the trial mode so this is back to a regular style race level uh, this was always in the game and you can see i haven't even upgraded it with the the sort of higher quality assets but what you'll notice is that I've actually added a timer as well. So there we go, it's a working timer. Something that I should have added right in the blooming start in the first place. But there we go, it is how it is. Uh, the graphics have changed slightly, it's a little bit less oversaturated as the last version. And that's purely because I upgraded the post-processing system to a more modern version of Unity. Um, everything in this game is a, is a higher version of Unity compared to the the previous version of the game and having tested the previous version of the game just now uh, goodness me it is definitely a lot better to play this version uh, but there we go right so here we go it's all as it was before but with new customizations with audio and the ability to change the scene uh, environment type so there you go you can just do that dy dynamically of course the weather system doesn't take account of collisions yet because I'm lazy and I also don't want to like hit the performance too much uh, but there we go and then of course when you hit that nothing happens it just freezes the timer so there you go that's the whole thing that's the whole game and then when you press restart you will restart from the start of the level again but there we go so that's the whole thing that's the whole update that's uh, that's literally all I've done but what I've been working on is mainly the back-end side of things on this game. So I'm now ready, I think it is ready to, to start considering put, make, uh, building this as a proper, proper game. So this might be the last free version of the game now. And uh, I'm considering getting it onto Steam. The question I have though is for everybody. What do you think about actually, like I'm, I'm kind of against this. I don't really want to do early access. But if you feel like early access is kind of appropriate for this game while I'm making it better and better, then maybe that's the way to go. Otherwise, I'll just put like a very low price on it for a early version. And then as I upgrade it, I will increase the price later when it's finally sort of a full game. So for now, this will be still a free version here and on Steam, it'll just be on the demo section. But other than that, I don't know what I'm doing later on. So uh, it's up to you. What do you think? Do you think early access is appropriate for this game? Or is it better that I, I go a different route and uh, stick to my moral concept of not kind of wanting to do early access? I never really wanted to do early access for any game. Like that's, that's something. The, the problem is, of course, a lot of what I do, which is just tiny little indie games, it's kind of the most appropriate for. But at the same time, you can see how long it takes me to get back to projects and therefore it isn't too appropriate to go the early access route anyway. So it's up to you guys now, it's up to you everyone in the um, who plays the game, people who like the game. It will go on Steam, this version will still be on itch.io uh, completely free. Uh, the version on itch.io I don't know if I will 
eventually upgrade that to to have the paid version as well when that is done uh, but it's it's likely i will so there'll be the free version on itio as well as the free version on steam and then the paid version which is just the full thing uh, now you can see that obviously the level editor is not in the game i took that out a few versions ago and that's just because it's it's nowhere near the way i wanted it to be and it was useless up until now anyway now what i'm going to do is once i've got the steam uh, page sorted out and steam works built into the game then i can actually start working again on upgrading the the level editor for what i want it to be like so it's it's actually it's actually going to be able to use steam works and then from there on you can just have an infinite set of levels just built by everyone and that's where the game is is appropriately at, at version 1.0 right now i'm calling it point, point 0.6 i've been update i've been upping the decimal number one one time each time i build so this is actually point 0.6 because the last version that's on itio is point 0.5 but there we go uh yeah if you if you want to play the game play the game this is kind of the last version that'll be as is and then after that hopefully we can get this to steam and we can see how many people will will really enjoy this game thanks very much for watching this video i know it's been a, a bit of a short one and a bit of uh, just sort of a repeat of of stuff that you've seen before but um there we go that's just how how things are next up i'm probably going to be working back on some vr work hopefully getting back into the flow for project tx and uh, get some stuff done yeah uh, i also am working on some other things outside of game dev as as always i uh, have some videos coming up that are more descriptive a little bit of sort of theory especially in terms of physics for gaming um but uh, yeah that stuff comes as it comes so i'll see you in the next video thanks very much for watching uh, goodbye